Hi, I'm Kathleen Creel, artist and facilitator of this workshop in acrylics on campus. We're painting tropical flowers with bold colors and textural surfaces, attempting painting techniques, moving our whole body into the process, not just our wrists. The workshop is a monkey see, monkey do approach, and these artists will finish a 24 by 36 painting in approximately one and a half days. Enjoy the next few minutes watching the development of these uh, paintings by a group of students that have been painting for just a very short period of time. Um, once the students have drawn in their subject with a brush, um, we begin to fill in, as you can see, um, in underpainting in uh, dark shades of the finished flower colors. And we then begin uh, to concentrate on the details of each aspect of the flowers or whatever the subject may be. And then uh, we also continue to focus on the bold and spontaneous brushwork as best that we possibly can um, as beginning painters. you can see begin to develop some highlights of the subjects as well as some of the uh, flower details. Um, you can see this uh, in the next group of photos up here. stage of the process we realize that we need to tighten up our placement of the subject because uh, we've worked with vigor and not worried about keeping inside the lines as we were taught as youngsters. Um, my approach is don't worry about keeping inside the lines, just re-establish them when it's uh, time to do so. So you can see that um, we replace and allow the underpainting to be less than perfect and it helps to give a sense of layering to the painting or a sense of depth to the painting.
Um, we're now moving into the final uh, stages of the works and begin to put the final highlights uh, to the subjects. Um, acrylic painting is an opaque process and has always worked from the darkest to the lightest and from the farthest away into the uh, closest aspect of the image. Our students share their finished paintings and quite proud I might add as they should be these are an amazing group of students that were just um, amazingly willing to step outside their comfort zone and discover things about themselves through this creative process that surprised them and give them a great sense of accomplishment it's been my pleasure and certainly a gift to be able to work with this group of students These are a few close-up details of our finished painting and as you can see you can sense depth in the piece because of the layering aspects and moving from the darkest to the lightest. I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, how-to clip. I'd also like to thank Judy Bishop for allowing us to utilize her painting studio and her home to have this workshop. She's a treasure indeed, and we all had a, a wonderful experience because of her generosity. Thank you so much, Judy. It was a pleasure.